So in my first year of college, I had a mandatory night lecture on art history, and since it was a night lecture, me and my friends would routinely grab food before class started. And when we left campus, we would walk past the student lounge, and every time I would notice the same three girls sitting on the couches, who by the way were in the same night lecture that we were in. And one of them had caught my eye, because well, I thought she was cute. I wanted to meet this girl, but I decided against it, and I wanted to focus on my schoolwork and... EDUCATION! She's just another cute girl you see at school, you'll get over her in like a week, or so I thought. September and October roll by, and it is now the first week of November. Finish class in the morning, grab food with friends, walk by student lounge and coincidentally see a cute girl, then go to class. This was my routine every single Monday and still I couldn't help but notice her every time we walked by to grab food. Stalker. You know the classic, okay so I'm just gonna take a quick look at this person and oh shit they're lo- uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a nice brick wall over there. Yup, just looking at that, looking at that brick wall. <laughs> Uh, it was a classic case of being interested in someone, but having no real way to approach or start a conversation with them. Another two weeks pass by, and one day I'm in the cafeteria with my friends, and I decide to bring it up. Hey, what do you think of that girl with the short hair over there? Hmm? Oh, her? Yeah, she's pretty cute. Do you like her? Well, yeah. <laughs> you would think this type of behavior would end in the third grade, but it totally doesn't. You should ask her out. Uh, I mean, I would, but scared. Give me a week or two. Cool. Well, what's her name? And that's when I realized, wait, I don't even know what this girl's name is. Three months into the semester and I don't even have a clue as to who she is. And until I figured out her name, I referred to her as History Girl to my friends. And as much as I wanted to meet History Girl, I knew nothing about her. Get out there and meet new people and ask people out is what I would like to say, but you need at least something to start that first conversation. Maybe a study partner or a club or a mutual friend. And for me, I had zero of these items in my inventory. So for the rest of the week, I made it my mission to try and figure out who this girl was. So I started asking around. In our night class of over 100 people, being the socially extroverted person that I am, I was well acquainted with at least a quarter of our class. This is where I started my detective work. In a few days, I talked to at least 11 different people to see if I could find at least one clue, but I kept getting shrugs and I don't knows. History Girl was still a complete mystery. And what made things worse was sometime in the middle of the semester, she dyed her hair and I lost track of her for like two weeks. It's like somebody put me into a university dating simulator game and was like, yo, let's put it on hard mode. Why are you doing this? I think I'm putting more effort into this than I am with my homework. Then at one point, my friends jumped in to help me out and started looking through social media. From Instagram to Facebook to Twitter to Tumblr, but nothing turned up. But then they went the extra mile and looked through our entire first year class list of 400 plus people on this poster in the main hall from orientation, but they still couldn't match a name to a face. We did this because we didn't have yearbooks. History Girl was a ghost on social media and in real life. By the way, orientation was an event on the day before classes started where we got to meet other first years and take a tour of the school. This information will be important later. So I had all of these connections, but I found out nothing. Why is this girl still an unlocked character? Do I have to fight a boss to find out who she is, like the principal or the lunch lady, or take down a criminal organization, or retrieve a legendary relic? Anyways, still have no name, still have no idea who she is, but like I was taught, <laughs> And so a week passes by and I walk into class, a large size hall that fit up to 200 people. My friends and I would sit in the middle right while History Girl and her friends resided in the very top left. So I never had the opportunity to interact with her during class either. Plus, it was already three months into the semester. Everyone already had their unspoken spots. I couldn't randomly out of nowhere just sit with her group of friends without a reason because it would stand out too much. And at this point, I was running out of cards to play and I thought about scrapping this whole plan to hopefully meet History Girl. It's almost the end of the semester. Finals are soon. It's... It's game over. I start walking to my regular spot, but then I look up and I see History Girl talking with some guy. Oh my god, please don't be your boyfriend. Oh my god, please don't be your boyfriend. It was Alex! This person, Alex, coincidentally turned out to be a friend that I made during the school tour orientation way back in August. The last time that I had officially talked to Alex was three months ago. Although we didn't talk or hang out very often, we were still cool with each other. Enough for me to go up and say hi to him. Do you see where I'm going with this? After three months and jumping through multiple obstacles to try and figure out who she is, this might be my first opportunity to actually meet History Girl. I cannot even explain to you how fast I walked up those stairs. So I ran up the stairs to say hi to Alex and he coincidentally, uh huh, yeah, to total coincidence, didn't see that coming, <laughs> not, not planned at all, introduces me to the three girls. They were Kristen, Kate, and History Girl was Jay. We'll just call them that. But doesn't that mean you used Alex? <laughs> used? No, he just, uh, Alex, he just helped, you know, you know what I'm saying? Turns out he was just asking her for an extra pencil. 
What the f- The power of coincidence! So I end up sitting with them, but Alex didn't actually plan to sit where we were and later moved spots. So now, it's just me and Jay. Sort of. She knows my name, but I'm still a complete stranger and have yet to talk to her and make an impression and somehow get past her two equally as attractive friends. While in a history lecture, where I'm not allowed to talk, all I have to do is ask her out. Easy. Right? <laughs> <laughs>